Welcome to Spoonful of Courage. I'm Dr. Page. You know, we all seem to have this garbage in, garbage out syndrome. I'm here at the garbage heap. We're here with Kathy Carton Willis, who's going to give us some tips on how to begin to prioritize things in our life and how to get out of this busy but barren syndrome. Stay tuned and uh, let's hear some tips from Kathy. Uh, one of the things you talk about is that epidemic that we're seeing in our society, the busy syndrome. Kathy, tell us, what do you mean by that? Well, I've just noticed that people have started to have a status symbol with the word busy. When people say, how are you doing? They say, oh, I'm busy. And they really think that it makes them more important if they're busy. And they cram their schedule full of things. They do it to please other people. They do it to look more important. And they, they feel like it's a part of um, being perfect. And we have that Pinterest perfection syndrome of, of just wanting everything to look just great on social media. Well, that feeds into that busy syndrome. And everyone I talk to that deals with that, their lives are so chaotic. And they don't experience any sense of peace or calm or contentment because they're always in a hurry to get to the next thing. But the problem with it is it also causes you to have an excuse for why you can't do something. And so a lot of times when I'm coaching someone, we'll set up a goal for them. And it's a very doable goal, but in their mind, it's impossible, even though it's something that God has put on their heart to do. And it's impossible because they're busy. And so I really challenge them to streamline what they're doing Talk, start taking things away from the schedule instead of adding things in. Get to a place of calm and peace in their spirit and in their soul. And then they can work on the body. Then they have time and a purpose to add in some things that will help them with their health. So, Kathy, it's, it is an epidemic. We are, we are busy, but we're barren spiritually. And so as you coach people, you begin to give them the steps that they need to take to begin to, to move into this lifestyle of wellness. And what would be your spoonful of courage that you tell your, uh, you know, the people that you coach? What would be that spoonful, that first step that they need to make to begin to slow down and begin to look at their body, soul, and spirit? The first step is really to say no. <laughs> and I know that sounds simple, but we say yes so often. The one thing we should say yes to is God. But instead we say, God, we know you'll understand because I'm so busy. And I, I've said yes to the school to do this. And I've said yes to my work to do this. And my family wants me to do this. And God, you surely understand all that. Well, instead, I want them to identify some things that God never led them to do, but they said yes anyway. Let's start saying no more. We start by praying about it. And when we don't have peace that God wants us to do it, why are we cramming that into our already busy schedule? So say no first, then you have room to say yes to God. Hey, it's so simple what Kathy was telling us. It begins uh, getting out of the garbage heap in our lives, the garbage in, garbage out. The busy but barren syndrome, the pen interest perfection, she said, begins with just simply saying no, by just not stuffing stuff in our lives that don't need to be there. Now, you can connect with Kathy at kathycartonwillis.com. She's a coach. She helps people, and uh, she's known as God's grin, grin Gal, and I hope that you will connect with her. Stay tuned. We've got some more great interviews for you here on Spoonful of Courage. Mm -hmm.